Right, I think it's the 18th of March today, 2020. I've been in the wood quite a few times over the past month. I'm always up here anyway, but I started to come up that steep steps that I to take several photos of. Um, a just different way in actually. Um, it might, it is, it has been gradual, but it's speeded up. That's what's happened. It used to be very, very, I know it's winter. I've got images of here in the winter where it's still more overgrown. Oh, this for example has been really cleared. It's a good idea from the steps point of view. You can find out where the steps are. This has always been a broad path. I've come up here while we're still allowed to get out. Um, this coronavirus has given an excuse, if you like, or an opportunity for the right-wing Tories to put in emergency plans, get their business plans sorted, give masses of money to business. No one's talking about the homeless, the fact that the NHS staff haven't got enough protective equipment. It's also an excuse, they'll say, to privatise the NHS because it isn't coping in a crisis, which is what they want to do. This is the capitalist. Yeah, in the end, everyone will have to pay for their care, even though you've been paying for it and your parents fought for it to have a lovely NHS, which I've had all my life. And I must admit, it has been very good at diagnosing various things. It was even better, I think, um, in some respects in the past. There's bits and pieces, good and bad. Now, this area here has opened up a lot. Now, my theory, along with others, will be that when they take the trees down, all this mud is going to wash down the hill. There'll be, it'll, be, there'll be no wind breaks. This is going to Western are turning into a very, very windy place. With worse storms, even, because all this is, acts as a windbreak. It retains the soil. You could even get landslips further down. Water would just run off the top. The grass ain't going to stop it. No, I think, I think uh, they might have experts involved, but there's something to do with money here. This is to do with private enterprise, one way or another. And they might have, what they've done, they've tricked the odd botanists and scientists thinking, oh yeah, we're going to get the archaeology revealed. And once this is cleared, using that as their umbrella, they will start putting the odd lane in. Yeah, it's all a big plan. The tide's coming in bigger faster and higher each year and they know it yeah, before long there'll be houses up here and they won't be for the ordinary people like the ones just down there nah this isn't a conspiracy theory either I get fed up when people start saying that everything we say is a conspiracy theory it's fact same with this coronavirus, a vehicle for change, good or bad, to stamp on the people, demand obedience, arrest people, isolate people, disempower, dis dis disable them, whole families, ruin their lives to make them even more vulnerable. That's what they're doing. It's almost like fascist Germany, isn't it? That's, how they, that's what they're doing. These are extreme right-wing people running our government at the moment. I think I can see somebody right up there. So look. Bo 
boy and a girl. Teenagers. The thing is, they've stopped the school, stopped the education, stopped the sport. Crime will go up. Domestic abuse will go up. Um, there'll be more disturbed teenagers um, roaming the streets. Then they can bring in more police to uh, enforce law. Yeah, I can see it all. George Orwell was right, 1984, and the Ministry of Truth. And slogans is war, his peace is with us. I can see a red dot. That one's for the chop. Red dot means a chop. Definitely. It isn't a war game. Red dot means a chop. Of course, I love it when a tree actually gets blown down in the wind, even though they've helped it by cutting the vines. Um, but they love it, and they can blame it on the storms and all that. A bit of clearing, I agree with. A little bit of clearing to help the other ones sort of survive and everything. Those young people, where have they gone? I know it's a slow. Can't see them now. Maybe they've gone into the wood. Oh, there they are over there. Oh, they're getting down in the pits. Right, over and out for a minute. The trees are getting thinner and thinner. Like I said, I've got loads of video, photograph imagery of this place. You can see the fort easy now. All those are going. Old grey beard, here we gone.